And why wasn't the injection of liquidity from the Fed enough to stop the steep slide? Uh, I mean, who knows what, you know, is happening on every given, any given day. I mean, when the Fed cut 50 basis points uh, a week ago, the market went down and then it went up the next day. So I don't want to read too much into it, but I think to, to what Charlie said, we need a, a double bazooka policy response of monetary and fiscal. And clearly the market, uh, you know, does not think there's enough being done on, on the fiscal side, even though the Fed clearly is ready and willing uh, to do whatever it takes, including possibly a 50 to 100 basis point cut next week back to zero. Uh, but clearly, you know, like today, it really smacked of capitulation to me. You know, we're down 26 percent from the top. Um, we're in this sort of chaotic price discovery process. You know, we really don't know even the magnitude of the earnings hit until we get to Q1 earnings season, which we won't even get to the pre-announcements for another uh, couple of weeks. And so there is a, a lot that we don't know, and the market is trying to find um, a bottom here. But, you know, again, the, the correlates today, you know, gold, gold miners, you know, Bitcoin down to 5,600 this morning, bond yields going up instead of down. To me, it smacks of forced selling uh, and maybe some sort of selling climax is in the works here. And at this point, the market has priced in at least a 10 percent earnings decline and a four P.E. point valuation haircut. So, you know, it, the, the market is pricing in a lot of bad stuff, even though the, the, the peak in the amount of bad mm -hmm. news is probably not here yet for another couple of weeks. Mike, I just wanted to come back to, as well to the broader market today. And the, the VIX up at, what, 76, an enormous spike from already elevated yep. levels after a couple of times over the last week where we thought it was starting to come down again. We did. Now, the first input into the volatility, X, which is the market's best guess on volatility for the next 30 days, is how volatile has the market been in the moment. And in the last 10 or 15 trading days, it has been as volatile in the realized volatility terms as you're ever going to see it. That's one piece of it. The other piece, though, is really a desperate grab for near-term hedging. And it just shows a level of agitation within the, the capital markets, lack of, of, of liquidity, uh, everybody essentially trying to unwind certain positions at the same time. It doesn't stay up here, but when it gets up here, it's telling you something's not really right underneath. And you have to pretty much go back to the 08 uh, situation in terms of uh, equity market um, kind of vibrations being at, at these levels. Everyone